In these videos, I will take a look at some of the comments that you, the viewer, have shared with me. Some of these comments may be posted on my YouTube channel. Some of them may not be, depending upon their content. I use this as an opportunity to answer questions, address criticisms, and acknowledge criticisms, of course, and direct the conversation, keep it going in the manner of which this YouTube channel is intended, meaning it is a grammar channel. This is a channel to talk about correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, the wonderful technology brought to the public by Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. And so that's the main purpose of this channel. So if you see a comment in this comments video that has not been posted on my channel, I'm probably using it as an example as to what not to post in the comments field. This is definitely a learning place, a place for learning where I teach not only the grammar, but also the psychology of the grammar. One other thing, I don't ever take anything personal. It's never personal. Although it may seem like it is at times, it's not, it's not at all. And I highly recommend everyone out there commenting, follow the same protocol. Don't take anything personal that I say. What you put in is what you get out. The energy that you bring here, I will most likely either give back to you, maybe a little bit, or maybe a thousandfold. It just depends upon how you approach me. This is my vessel. There are terms and conditions. If you comply with them, everything's peachy. If you don't, well, you get what you get. You don't throw a fit. Without further ado, let's get to the comments. Welcome to the 21st edition of for the clarity and closure of the viewers' comments. I'm your host, Colin Jason. I'm Matthew Colin Glass. You may call me Jason. This is a special edition because not only am I going to look at some of the comments that you've left on my YouTube channel, but I'm also going to address a issue, an issue that was brought up to me uh, during a live stream that I did from a viewer who mentioned about correct websites or fiction websites so on and so forth that most of the websites on the internet are fiction I agree here's the thing I only know of one website that uses correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar to the best of my knowledge. And that's my website, which I will show you after I show you a plethora of other websites of people who claim to be using correct sentence structure, but through either willful ignorance, nascience, or whatever, are not. So, Hold on to your hat. Okay, so we're going to start off with some small fries. This one calls themselves Quantum Grammar Coach. As you can see here, there is absolutely no correct sentence structure visible on this web page. Nothing. It's all adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble, fictitious conveyance of grammar nonsense next one comes from someone called the blue thumb club as you can see here you have a colon space cssc and then colon that is not correct sentence structure title for flag is adjective adjective pronoun there's no correct sentence structure here. Colon space, federal hyphen postal hyphen court, colon space, shop hyphen documents, and then the pronoun more. Again, our hyphen service. Colon space, space, colon. Not correct sentence structure at all. The next one is uh, from the Purple Thumb community where they're selling live life claims for $111 uh, physical claim notarized and posted $210 
um, which, as you know, I do not agree with anyone who sells a live life claim. I feel it is everyone should have the opportunity to have one of these things, create their own. Anyone who sells them, well, to me, that's a red flag. But as you can see here, there is no correct sentence structure on this page. Nothing to do with correct sentence structure. And by the way, I will say this, make it short and sweet. This domicile claim at one point in time, I was in contact with this Purple Thumb community. I was working with them to create live life claims and things like that. Uh, but they broke the terms and conditions of the contract. They broke confidentiality. I also asked, I said, if I help you create a live life claim, one of the terms and conditions was that you do not charge for it. You do not sell it. They began selling it. So I broke bulk with them, but uh, the domicile claim came from me. Uh, this trespass notice came from me. Uh, they did not ask me to use my idea. Now, I can't stop anybody from plagiarizing or using my ideas or mutating them or modifying them. But, uh, you know, I think karma will do the job for me. I just wanted to point it out that there is no correct sentence structure on this page. No correct sentence structure closure in that group. Here's another one. See, this says COLA and plenipotentiary hyphen, hyphen judge, comma, space, global, federal, factual, postal judge, and clerk, period. And then postmaster. Postmaster is a pronoun because it has not been positioned by a position loading phrase. Same thing with muster hyphen master. It has not been positioned by a position loading phrase. So, there you go. This is not correct sentence structure. About me. Adverb verb. So, yeah. Ooh, look at this mishmash. Colon space, contact, colon space. Yes, no correct sentence structure here. Now we're going to start to get start to get into some of the bigger fish here. Here we got uh, colon mark hyphen lowercase k is shown colon Christopher. It's all italics. Launch your complaint here. Pronoun, adverb, adjective, pronoun. Yeah, no correct sentence structure to be seen here. It's all in brackets, italics, quotations. And then you have the colon with the space, serial hyphen number with the lowercase n, just like the lowercase k. No tilde in front of the AD, no period after the B to put it to a full stop. <laughs> As I said, no correct sentence structure here. It may look like it is, but it is not. And here we go. It looks like they tried to correct some of the things on this page. Because you, you have the colon and then tied up against the L. But they still have the particle of negation ing modifier in here in the fact. And then down here they have colon space documentary. Colon space home. Colon space watch hyphen film. Colon space screening and then particle of negation ing hyphen authorization. Etc. Etc. So on and so forth. Colon space home period. This web link has not been positioned correctly. For the documentary film, Into the Life's Grammar Journey. Okay, Into. What would be congruent with Into as far as positionals go for, of, with, and by, right? What's Into? Is Into out from? So when you read it backwards, it would say... 
with our world away. Oh, so they have of our world with Russell Hyford J of the Gould. So of the Gould with the Russell Hyford no of the Gould with the Russell Hyford J with the Gould of the Russell Hyford J with our world for this postmaster general of the solitary performances oh man you can't read it backwards I challenge anyone out there to read that backwards and have it make sense with a cause at the beginning and an authority at the end. There is nothing of the sort here. The positionals are wrong. Quantum gobbledygook. Gook. Here's my website. For the tutor, contract, hyphen, writer, auditor of the quantum grammar period. This colon positions tutor, positions contract writer, auditor, and this colon represents of the, and it positions quantum grammar. For this claimant cessation of the cognition is with the claim of the facts, with the position of the peace and neutrality, with the balance of the honor and the grace, with the maintenance of the rule one and rule equal, with the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge by the claimant, Jason Ivan Matthew Colin Glass. You read it backwards, it says for the claimant, Jason Ivan Matthew Colin Glass of the correct sentence structure is with the rule one and rule equal of the maintenance with the honor and grace of the balance with the peace and neutrality of the position with the facts of the claim with the cognition by this claimant sensation period. It's all correct sentence structure mathematically certified forwards and backwards. There's no gobbledygook. There's no confusion. I did translate some of it into plain English, but the majority of it is in correct sentence structure. Even these fields, and the parts that aren't, are in italics. The credentials, same thing. It's all correct sentence structure. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's the comparison. You be the judge. And if you say something like, well, everybody makes mistakes and blah, blah, blah. Okay, who are you talking to here? You're talking to a guy that's been doing it for five years over 20,000 hours and this is my work and then you look at this guy who's supposedly been doing it for 20 years or whatever and this is his work and this guy who's been doing it for what 10 or 15 years and this is his work compare and contrast you be the judge let's go on to the comments first comment comes from J-E-R, and they say, I thought this technology was copyright material, question mark. Now, that sounds like a statement. I thought this technology was copyright material, period. But as you know, young folks are want to do these days, the grammar, uh, even fic in the fiction, you know, the grammar is just, the knowledge level just isn't there. They phrase statements and put question marks at the end. Like if you wanted to ask that type of question, you could say, is quantum grammar technology copyright material? Question mark. Then it would be a clear question, but this is not a clear question. But I know what they're trying to say. Don't you have to be authorized by the creator of this technology to teach it? Well, Jer, who created this technology then? And when you answer that question, Show me your certification of the creator. Prove who created it. Because as far as I know, there is no one out there that can prove that they created quantum grammar. There are people out there who claim to own it, but I've yet to see a correct sentence structure contract to state that. I've yet to see a correct grammar document that states that. I just haven't seen it. So, until that's produced, no. Authority comes from knowledge. You have to know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, and you can safely navigate through the sea of space using correct sentence structure, and you are the author, 
then you have authorization. Think about it for a minute, jur. Think about when Cola David Eiffel and Cola Miller and Cola Russell Hyphen J. Cola Gould first started walking through the foreign vessel and dry dock doors, claiming to be federal postal judges and plenipotentiary judges and whatever else they claimed. Who authorized them to do that? To claim those titles? No one did. It came from the knowledge. And it can work the same for you, just like it works for me. I've been using correct sentence structure for five years with no authorization except for my own. And I've been 100% successful with it. So the proof is in the pudding. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from JC. And they say, so what have your performances been? W the grammar. Have you had success and commanding the fiction? I understand what this individual is uh, trying to ask. This is something I stay away from on my channel because I want people to concentrate on the grammar. I don't want to get bogged down in hero stories or bragging about this or that the same way that other people do. Although I realize that stories like that will draw people in initially, attract them to the channel because of all these crazy stories and whatnot. But that's not what I'm about. I want people to be here because they want to learn the grammar. So just to sum it up without giving too much detail, as I said a couple minutes ago, with any case that I've tried, and I'm talking about cases of my own and cases also that... Uh, I handle those for other people. I've been 100% successful with it. And you can too if you learn the grammar. Thanks for the comment. Next comments come from Sean Gary Christopher. And uh, he says, If one of the parties in a contract can show that they do not have closure of words in legal form, is it a voidable contract? Think about what you're saying there, Sean. If one of the parties in a contract could show that they do not have closure of words in a legal form, first of all, legal is a fiction term. If you use the word legal, then you're in the domain of fiction, by my knowledge. Second of all, if you are a contract party in a contract and you don't understand the closure of the words, you don't have closure on the words or the terms, why would you agree to that contract? That's kind of underhanded. To agree to a contract without understanding the words and then later on saying, hey, hey, I don't understand this, suddenly. And then you want to get out of the contract. That's some shady stuff there, Sean. And then Sean says, if you do not have closure on anything legal, how are you bound with legal duties? Well, you're not. It's up to you. If you want to participate with the fiction, i.e. legal, that's up to you. Contracts by consent. You don't have to agree. You don't have to participate. It's all up to you. Only you can prevent forest fires. Next comment comes from Adam Dawson. He says, I have been studying a few channels, MKC, Ray's Wisdom, Quantum Grammar Coach, and also yours. I think Ray's Wisdom and Quantum Grammar Coach are all agreeing with each other, or you taught them, I don't know. Well, to address that, uh, Ray's Wisdom is one of my best students for sure. Quantum Grammar Coach, I know who they are, I think, but I don't know them. I did not teach them. I mean, we didn't do classes as far as I know. And so I cannot certify his knowledge level. I do certify and validate Ray's wisdom, colon Ricardo, colon Marseille. I do vouch for him. He has closure on the grammar. Quantum Grammar Coach, I cannot vouch for him. I don't know his knowledge level. I'm new into Quantum Grammar just a few weeks, but came across MKC years ago. And recently in UK, a lot of people are calling him out for a lot of commands he's putting on others. Thanks for the vid. Hopefully I'm heading down the right path with your channel. No, I mean, the surest way to find out is to study and get closure on the grammar or contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and apply for a 10 to 15 minute uh, video consultation to get some more information about the workshops. If you want to learn the grammar, it's up to you if you want to get serious about it. 
As far as MKC, yeah. His content was so ridiculous that YouTube kicked him off the platform. There's a lot of ridiculous stuff on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of crazy stuff. You have to do some pretty egregious things. Put some pretty strong BS out there for YouTube to kick you off. And well, Mark's no longer here. Another comment from Sean. And he says, only men and women or their written will can accurately use correct grammatical structure for facts. That's a pretty big assumption there, Sean. I mean, are men and women the only intelligent creatures in the cosmos? I don't know. But that's a pretty big uh, assumption there. Fiction lacks knowledge. Ah. How would you know what fiction lacks or doesn't lack? Now you're starting to make a claim for fiction. An incorrect sentence structure, we may only make claims for ourselves, Sean. Never for some, someone else, whether it's fact or fiction. That's a trespass. In any case, fiction lacks knowledge of the real world and can only exist within the jurisdiction of belief systems and fictional policies, agreements, persons, and characters. Persons. Why would you put the word persons in there? That's interesting. In character. I hope that this helps. Uh, it's always good to be a help rather than a hindrance. However, I was don't ever remember asking for help, but I appreciate the offer. I am grateful for the wealth of knowledge and facts that you have shared with us over the years. Well, thank you, Sean, and I'm grateful for your viewership. And I hope that the workshop that I gifted you helped you. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Tettles Ted. And they say, thanks for this, my man. Hope all is well with you, Mr. Glass. Been a while. Good to hear my brow was not raised in error. And then I said, thank you, Tettles Ted, whomever you are. You may refrain from the mister as I am the master of this vessel and not a mister, lol. It is indeed good news that your brow remains undisturbed. Cheers. And then they say, Master Glass, apologies. And I just thought that was funny. Jason is fine, Tettles Ted. And if uh, you don't want to share your correct name with me and participate with Rule 1, Rule Equal in the geometric level playing field, that's your choice. I appreciate the comment nonetheless. Next comment comes from Jeff Baird. And he says, for the cultivation of the closer with the proof of the symbols... With the four corners rule by colon Jeffrey hyphen Andrew colon Baird. And backwards that would be by for the Jeff. Okay, so let's break this down. You can't read it backwards because it's not correct sentence structure. He has for the cultivation of the closer. And then a verb would have to go in between closer and with. There is no verb in this, so it's not a correct sentence structure. There's no thought. There's no thinking. With the proof of the symbols. And then we have symbols space bracket. And then bracket space width. That's a uh, excessive use of spacing. With the four corners rule. Four corners rule. Uh, I would guess it's supposed to be a compound fact. But they have not included hyphens in it. So therefore, if anything else, that throws the whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. And then it has by and then colon. So it's missing a lodial. And the colon in front of Jeffrey is not necessary. If it would have been a correct position lodial phrase. But it is not. So Jeff, if you want to learn correct sentence structure, check out the 500 videos on this channel or contact me. The email address at the bottom of your screen and apply for a workshop. But again, only if you're serious. Thanks for the comment. Another comment from Adam Dawson. He says, what would be the best way to contact you as I have a lot of questions? I want to know why this way of studying is correct. Also, why is MKC after meeting David Webb Miller and having him on his YouTube channel going against the correct way of teaching this? Okay. First question. 
What would be the best way to, best way to contact you? Adam, in every single video, except for the live ones, but every single video that I do, there is an email address at the bottom of your screen. In every single description, there is an email included. That's the best way to contact me. And then he says, I want to know why this way of studying is correct. Well, the only way to find that out, Adam, is to study it. If you choose, it's up to you whether you study this or you don't study this. No one's going to twist your arm. No one's going to do it for you. And then they ask, why is MKC, after meeting David Wynn Miller and having him on his YouTube channel, going against the correct way of teaching this? I don't think I ever said that Mark Sean Christopher was going against the correct way of teaching this. What I said was, Mark Sean Christopher does not teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Because he doesn't know it. Mark knows parse. And I'm saying this, I'm saying what Mark knows and doesn't know based upon his public grammatical performances of which I've done audits and reaction videos and so on and so forth. All of his publicly available material is a continuance of the evidence that shows that he doesn't have closure on correct sentence structure and he does not know how to syntax. I have shown this again and again. But Adam, the only way to do it to learn it, to know it for sure yourself, is to learn it for yourself. And that's up to you, man. I mean, that's completely up to you. Again, no one can do it for you. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from uh, Ionel Adrian. And he says, I hope that Mark is healthy, happy, and gets lots of followers. I hope that Mark does not get beaten by his followers. Well, hope is a wonderful thing, and I'm happy that you're hopeful. Next comment comes from Ian O.M., and he says, Hmm, so this seems to me as a testament and reminder, in order to use correct sentence structure, one must be willing to walk into court and hold true accountability on everyone involved in real time. Otherwise, people or agencies like YouTube will just defer to court orders. One must be willing to walk into court and hold true accountability on everyone involved in real time. Well, one may only hold true accountability upon themselves, Ian, and invite the other contract parties up onto the geometric level playing field of contract. And it's up to them whether they want to go up there or not. You can't force anybody to do it. That's the whole thing behind correct sentence structure is that they will not come up here. They will vacate. And as far as YouTube goes, YouTube is a fiction platform to begin with. Like, for example, me having a channel here, I'm their guest. Right? I'm basically at the mercy of their whim. I, I mean... I don't know any other way to say it. It's the same for anyone else. There is no winning. You either comply with the terms and conditions of the vessel that you are a guest of, or you leave. It's that simple. The contract is by consent. I don't know how much more clear I can be with it. Thanks for the comment. And the final comment from Ian, he says, For me, correctness comes from a recognition of no choice, though I do see the validity of the logic you present. And therein lies one of the biggest psychological hurdles of correct sentence structure for some people. There is always a choice. Always a choice. There is no such thing as no choice. For example, and I'm just going to use a very uh, extreme example. If someone threatens you with death, holds a gun to you, and says, you have to sign this contract. What are you going to do? Do you think there's no choice? Because there is a choice. There is still a choice there. You can either choose to sign or choose not to sign. It's up to you. There is a choice. There's always a choice. Always. If someone says, 
we are going to force you to take this medication. We're going to tie you down in a chair and make you take it. Okay. Is there a choice in that matter? You can say no. I refuse. I don't want it. I'm not going to take it. And then they can force you. But you still made a choice not to do it, even though they forced you. Do you see what I'm saying here? There's still a choice. Always here and here, there's a choice. If someone holds a gun to you and says, sign this, and you say no, and they pull the trigger, you've made a choice. If you sign it and they don't pull the trigger, you've made a choice. Am I getting through, Ian? Contract is by consent. It's by choice. It's a choice to be correct. It's a choice to be not correct. It's a choice to learn. It's a choice to not learn. If you want to get closer on the grammar, it's your choice to study the videos or take the workshops. If you say, well, for whatever reason, you can't take the workshops, why is that? That's still a choice. You're making a choice. Do you see what I'm saying? It's my choice to make this video. It's my choice to say the words that I'm saying. I could say them a different way. I could say them, you know, maybe a, a gentler way. I don't know. But what I do know is contract is by consent. It's by choice, and everyone has a choice. Every adult has a choice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this special edition for the clarity and closure of the viewers' comments. I hope it's given you some insight onto how you learn this stuff, uh, how you can go about it, psychological condition state necessary to do that. Contract is by consent. There's nearly always a choice. Even if you're under duress, you still have a choice. Even under threat of physical violence, you still have a choice. Do you have the constitution to make the correct choice? That's the question. If you want to learn the grammar, contact me at the email address down there. Apply for a correct grammar workshop. I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consult. I always appreciate anyone who wants to join the channel. Click the join button. Check out the two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. It's in the confidential, but it's available to you if you join tier two of the membership. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.